I'm Sue Whitley. I'm uh, living in Calgary. I've recently been wrapping up full-time work, now sitting back and taking some time to reflect. Choosing to do a planned gift uh, to Concordia has come out of this period of reflection that I've had and the achievements that I've, I've had throughout my career and a lot of it has been rooted in this academic success that, that, I've, uh, that I've had and I think it, you know, it sets you up for whatever's to come thereafter. It's something I feel strongly about because um, my parents didn't have that opportunity because of the circumstances of when they, when they grew up. My parents grew up at a time when it was the, the Depression and then uh, the Second World War. My, my father was, in the, was a pilot in the Second World War. If he could have afforded it, or his family could have afforded it, he would have been in university. My mom went uh, back to, uh, to, to school at age 50 and enrolled in the uh, English program. So she did her undergraduate degree, her Bachelor of Arts in English Literature. My mom was a lifelong learner and she came to university later in her life. I think the experience for me at Concordia started when I was uh, quite young. Uh, my mother went back to uh, night school and summer school to do her degree uh, part-time as she was working full-time. And so she would bring me along to Loyola to the uh, library there. So I was exposed to the university environment at a very young age and it was an easy choice for me to make when it came to my decision as to what I wanted to do for university studies. I had studied in economics and it was going into a discipline that I didn't think or wasn't sure that that was going to be my lifelong um, field of study. Thanks to two really, really great champions, uh, professors at Concordia, Dr. O'Cherry and Dr. Lallier, who really instilled in me the idea that I could fulfill my potential in it, that it wasn't strictly um, something that uh, had a very sort of narrow focus. So most of my career has been around mega projects, energy projects, and the both the positive and the, the negative aspects of that on communities. Times in my career where I felt like um, I'm really using sort of the critical thinking skills that were built into my, my academic life, uh, I think were when I was able to go overseas and work in foreign countries. So I worked for a short time um, in Colombia um, and then again in the UAE supporting uh, a project in Iraq. I guess my advice for students today uh, as they embark on their journey uh, and careers is to really take time to assess and reassess where you're at. But I think there's huge opportunity in stepping back and stepping away and assessing is this fulfilling me and I think uh, both learning, education, higher education and continuous uh, learning and improvement is, is really key and critical to the skills needed for, um, for the future. By doing the planned gift, I wanted to create something enduring, uh, a value. It was a, an easy choice for me.